I mean, it was. I mean, it is. Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. I wonder where Cranky got this. Huh. Will you look at that? Hey, Cranky! Can I ask you about... <laughs> what did you say? Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay! Yeah! What have you done? Not all better, all soggy! I'm sorry, Cranky. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No, it isn't! Listen to me, kid. I will never be your friend. Never or never ever? Never, ever, 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 ever! That's four evers. That's like forever! I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would never, forever be my friend. It was horrible. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over the top, super hyper antics. Rainbow! No, no. It's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying, what you're both saying, and I guess. I can leave Cranky alone. Right after he accepts my apology. Cranky! No! No! Leave me alone! Wait! I understand that you don't want me as a friend! No! I don't! So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry! Fine! You said it! Do you accept my apology? No! Oh, Cranky, please accept my apology! Please! No! But I'm really, really, really... <laughs> really, really... Ah! Really, really, really... Really, really, really... Really, really, really... Really, really, really... There's nothing you can do. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Her? Her who? The special friend? Go away, Pinky! Cranky, it's me again. I understand that you don't want to be my friend or accept my apology. Before I leave you alone forever, I have something to at least try to make up for ruining your book. No, I don't want it, kid. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. Goodness, you really are cranky. It can't be. Is it really you? It can, and it is. Matilda, but how? Pinky. A treat from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? Apple Bloom, come back.
well, who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Blue, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Ugh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doo doo. Sowie! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. That's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I can see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive taste, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. <laughs> Again, I am really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, uh no, sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con! Going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con! Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My Ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. 
it won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. You could make it. Every pony, this is Rarity. She's staying at Canterlot Castle. Spirit <laughs> 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 and gentlecoats, welcome to the Wonderbolts Derby. The competitors are taking their places at the starting line and our race will begin momentarily. I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <gasps> Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonderbolts trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonderbolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, 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 Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. What's happening in the twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave Will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon. That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. Snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. 
A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> you mean the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible broom. Spy! Okay in there? Who needs a diaper change? Don't worry, they're fine. Oh, I mean. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Is any pony hungry? No thanks, I just had a big breakfast. I'm on it. Oh, oh, you're making funny faces. I have one. <laughs> no, you see, Pinky, the babies need to be burped. Things, pumpkin cake. Except food. <gasps> Great cinnamon sticks! I completely forgot! No, you just fed him bottles, remember? Not the baby's food. The food for the enormously big catering order we have to deliver today. Oh, with the new twins, we've been so distracted. Quick, honey bun, we need to find a babysitter to watch the foals while we take care of this. I can do it! I want to do it! Oh, the babies love playing with me, I'll do it! Wonder who would be available on such short notice? Me! Me! Take me! Oh, I would love to babysit. But I can't today, sorry. I promised Angel we'd go on a picnic. You understand, don't you? You're not mad at me, are you? Please don't be mad at me! I'll do it! Pick me! I have to finish this report for the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. I want to babysit! Pick me! <laughs> babysit? Now? When there's a swarm of hungry caterpillars heading this way? I gotta get all these apples picked before they get swarmed on! <laughs> to the Wonderbolts air show this afternoon. Got a dash. Ask me! Me, 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 Moi! Babysit! Oh, no, 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 no. I am flattered that you would think about me, though. Pinkie Pie, how would you like to babysit for us? <gasps> I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> now, Pinky, are you sure you really understand the responsibility of watching over two babies? I can be responsible. Why, responsibility is my middle name. Pinky Responsibility Pie. But this time, you need to take care of them, not just play with them. You have to be responsible. Yes, I know. I will. I am. Oh, here you are, dearie. All of your responsibilities are on this list. Whoa, that's a lot of responsi... Consider it done. We'll frost it when we get there. Come on, Sugar Plum. Tick, tick. Tick. A lot of ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> Maybe even thousands. <gasps> and shut those windows, will you? <sighs> Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! It's a reenactment of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair! The Hearts Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! <laughs> Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know. Can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered. Until one fateful day, it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribe's precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. The earth ponies were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering, and the angrier every pony grew, the worse the blizzard became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. Daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasi, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, <laughs> Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. <laughs> is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. <sighs> us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you! Unlike you Pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Mamafa! <laughs> Excuse me, AJ, but we didn't travel all over 
for Equestria searching for you to come home without you. Well, I didn't ask you to come looking for me. There was nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. Twilight's right. We gotta get her to spill the beans. What? She had beans? Uh, I told her I would snack eight. You ready to put your back into it, Applejack? Sure am, Miss Jubilee. Terrific! Come on in, girls! What are you all doing here? We're your cherry sorters. Shall we get started? Fine. <laughs> Red cherries go in one bin and yellow cherries go in the other. Simple as cherry pie. Uh, just one teensy thing to remember. Have fun! What are you five up to? Well, uh, you made working on a cherry orchard sound so delightful. Uh-huh. Well, just remember, no talking about Ponyville. Fine. Why don't you quit talking and get walking? Jay, how was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot, totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Some. Really? Did you see Wild Bull Hickok? Oh, what about Calamity May? Yes, I saw them both. And how did you meet Miss Jubilee? Um, well. Miss Jubilee had a cherry stand at the rodeo. Real good treats. Um, excuse me? Cherry winks, cherry cheesecake, cherry tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple Acres? Yes. Did you tell her why you weren't going back? No, because it was none of her business. Can you please slow down? Is it because I made it rain on you that one time? No. Because you were insulted when I gave you that book on organized orchards? No! Is it because you were insulted when I insulted your hair? No, no, no! I'm not telling you why, so just stop! Well, girls, we seem to be striking out. That's because we're playing too nice. Yes, desperate times do call for desperate measures. It's time to call in the big guns. Hey, Applejack, need some help? You promise not to ask me any questions? I promise. Have you ever had a cherry chonga? Oh, sorry, that was a question. That kind of question is fine, Pinky. No, I, I never had a cherry chonga. Well, no wonder, because I made it up myself. A cherry chonga is mashed up cherries and a tortilla that's deep fried. Cherry chonga, great name, huh? Oh, but maybe I should call it a chimichurri. Ooh, that's good too. Which do you think sounds better, cherry chonga or chimichurri? Or what if I combine them, chimichurri chonga? Oh, what sounds the funniest? I like funny words. One of my favorite funny words is kumquat. I didn't make that one up. I would work in a kumquat orchard just so I could say kumquat all day. Kumquat, kumquat, kumquat. Oh, I'm so worried. Is her face gonna stay that way? Oh. How is she, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. Uh, how long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Ooh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super-duper spider powers? 
no. Nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. Few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No, thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. <laughs> is she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous. Fierce and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. As Daring Dude trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. 